You got a number in your head? I do. Throw it at me. Hey guys, I'm about to go meet up with somebody to look at a trailer full of stuff, and I actually just did a buy. If you look behind me, the van is about halfway full of a bunch of stuff. That's a different video though, so go check that out. The guy I'm going to meet now, I bought four storage units from him way back in like April, May. It's been a while. I spent $4,000 on all that stuff. Did really well on it too. It took me a while to sell it, but I'm finally done with those storage units. And he just called me and said that he's got some more stuff. So I'm going to head over there now and see what he's got. How's it going? Hey. Good to see you again. Likewise. How you been? Been all right. How about yourself? Stay out of trouble. That's good. So you're getting rid of your trailer, huh? Yeah. I just, I mean, I needed it for the size of the shows I was always doing. Yeah. And it pulls like a charm. But uh, I just, you know, it's been sitting. Yeah, it's a 16 footer. Yeah, uh, that's the enclosed part, right? Not including the tongue. Okay, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be. I'd love to get one. I'm not quite ready yet because I'm going to need to get a different vehicle probably a year or two down the road. Oh, yeah, that, you ain't going to pull it Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. But it's actually, uh, if you got a place, it makes for good storage. Yeah. So, yeah, climb on in. Um, I got to get the keys for the back. Of okay. That makes it a little easier seeing. Yeah, it. you got shelving and everything in here. Yeah, I put that up myself. That is nice. Actually, the storage units that you bought, you probably came across some of these uh -huh. extra parts. Yep. I ended up selling a lot of the shelving to one person. I drove to Richmond, Indiana for all that big metal shelving. No kidding. Yeah. Um, Shelving's so expensive. It's crazy. Like if you buy it new. I mounted this eight years ago. Yeah and you can actually if you take a rubber mount you can you know so you can pop them out of there yeah. in this holds everything in but i ended up just leaving the stuff in there uh most of this right here is going to be straps canopies tie downs tarps up here uh i got merchandise here probably not this and that because that's from my patio but all of that through the cutco all of the stuff up on top I've got some easels okay Everything, everything, yeah, for the most part, I don't think anything here is not for sale. Okay. So, I don't know if I can take everything, but I'd love to just make a pile of stuff and do, yeah. Okay, work out a price with you. I've still got two booths up here at um, Westchester, and they've been doing pretty good. I just, uh, I just went down to Ohio Valley. Yeah? How are you doing in there? Uh, really well. Oh, yeah, that's great. I inherited... Um, a booth from my mom yeah i remember you telling me that long story short you know it's just all my stuff now except for when i just organized the i love that one yeah that is cool i like that too yeah actually there's nothing in those coolers nothing in them okay yeah, so that's, that's i'd be interested in those too so i can just kind of make this area my pile yeah sure, sure. Um, everything in these black bins, um, there's no rhyme or reason to them. Okay. Um, so the stained glass lamps up here, that's a coisal. Okay. It's a double chandelier. It's new, contemporary, but the coisal line is just really, I, I sold some large, you know, like, uh, pendant lamps. Yeah. And they just, people. Pharaoh? Yeah, that's actually worth some money right there. Yeah? yeah. The posters uh, still sell for a good amount of money, but uh, try finding a, uh, a rug poster. A rug poster? Somebody made this? That I actually hung in my room. No kidding. As a kid. Farrah Fawcett rug poster. Yeah. So was this was this in the store? Somebody took the poster and made it, it was, into a rug? No, no. It, did, it was sold like that. Um, there's some online right now, uh, if you can find them. But uh, I think it was kind of a, um, what was that store down in the mall growing up? Um, they had all the black light posters and stuff. Oh, Spencer Gifts? Y yeah, Spencer yeah. and, you know, stuff like that. The, okay. Uh, but I think that's dated early 80s or late 70s. Oh, gosh, scoot board. Oh, man. The red stuff. 
any old red stuff I got to pick up. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh man, uh, that is cool. And, yeah, it's it extends all the way out. Um, the glass in the end needs to be adjusted by your right hand. The um, the magnifying glass in that. Wow. I'll show you how to open it up, but um, without that being, it's a little loose. Uh huh. So without that being flush and straight, in this opening here. And you, well, actually, you have to go far because that's. Uh huh. Wow. Huh. Yeah, it's just an old. Uh, that glass. is nice. Captain's glass. Yeah. I like anything Masonic, Lodge related. Yeah, that stuff does good. Syrian Shrine. I just picked up, actually I just cleaned the price off of it yesterday. Uh, found a... You're, you're younger than I am. Do you remember King Quick? No, I've heard of it though. Convenience Stop store? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the precursor to Stop and Go. Okay. And now I don't know what they have anymore like UDF. But uh, King Quick um, was really big in Cincinnati back in the 70s. And when Pete Rose was playing for the Reds, he did a lot of advertising with King Quick. Oh, yeah? So I got one of his glasses in the house sitting in my dining room. No yeah, kidding. That's cool. cool. I haven't seen many of those. There's a couple different glasses with Pete Rose. But uh, I like this one because they put a couple of the uh, the big red machine players. Okay. Like bench, there's one from Bench. Morgan, yeah. Perez. That's a neat piece. A memo pad from the 20s. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of old, nice little pictures out there. 1928. How's it smell? F. O. Girton. Oh yeah, smells old. <laughs> funeral home. Wow. That's that's a funeral home? Uh-huh. Maybe like a ledger? People yeah, it looks like it. I think they've only written on the top page. Still neat though. It's definitely not something you see every day. No, I thought that there's no room on it. Yeah, I can plug this in, but it's a uh... The way that this is crafted, and it looks like it's got some weathering to it, mm -hmm. I think this was outside. But yeah, that is cool. I can plug it in if you want. I, no, I, I I've never you. done anything with it. Uh, it's, it's been sitting in here. It doesn't sit well. Huh. Um, old riveted chest. It may have some stuff. In oh it. wow! Yeah, that is old. Old metal bin. Good mall stuff. Like this riveted chest I showed up in. I had 45 on it. I'm going to pull these and take a look in the chest you got there. Yeah. I think I want that too. It's actually pretty clean. It's not rusty. Yeah, it is clean. It had some surface. Uh huh. Okay, and there's some silver plate in here. Yeah. Just has got character. Yeah, it does. That's one more thing that I could sell that easily at a show or uh -huh. my booth if I had a bigger booth. But right. I can. Okay, I'll set these here. Okay, I think I'm going to do. These two. Okay. The Open that lid up. Okay, close the lid. Yeah, I got it. Got it. I'll leave the traffic light there for now, but yeah, I'm okay. going to get that. And then I've got the coolers, this stuff, and then what's right in front in here okay. in that pot. I'm sure we're going to come to an agreement. So you, do you want to move it out so we can go through this? Sure. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. Do you yeah. know what that is? Military? It is a military uh, field uh, desk. Field desk, holy yeah. cow. Ready? Yep. Pull it out. Oh my god, that's awesome. I don't know if I brought enough money with me. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. 
He's, what he's, a pretty dog. He's already learned. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Gosh, he's going to be a big one. No, isn't he? Beautiful. Look Good at those boy. paws. Oh, man. How cool is that? I, I just like the old advertising. Yeah. Packard cable terminals. Man, that is cool. Oh, doctor's bag. That How is cool. cool is that? Yeah, I know. Oh man, that's it awesome. Snaps everything, and it's actually there's a old uh, the original uh, like I think straight razors in there, wow. in in one of the side uh, pouches. That is cool. <laughs> Big old meanie. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Boy. You're getting excited, aren't you? Why did you pee? What a pretty dog. You got a number in your head? I do. Throw it at me. What do you got? You, you go first. No, because I, I guarantee you probably like what I'll say. Um, 400. I was thinking 350. No, I'm thinking 400. That's fair. Yeah, yeah I don't, no, I don't. No, I, I had three, three, 350 in Yeah. Mind. Uh, but uh, we're going to continue to do business so for that's fine. Awesome. I appreciate the deal. Day. Yeah, I'm comfortable and All right, cool. yeah, thank you. $400, sir. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. You want a backup? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What and we'll just boxes? load it in the back. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I am really happy with all that stuff that I've bought. John, if you're watching this, thank you so much for taking the time to let me poke through everything. Really appreciate the deal you gave me. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>